Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Well, today I'm going to run you through the Binance DEX. It's just launched, uh, it's only in testnet phase, but it can be pretty hard to understand what we're doing when we're interacting with these decentralized exchanges. So I'm going to walk you through it all. This is the home screen if you go to testnet.binance.org. As always, if you want to set up a new wallet, please do that safely and securely. Write down that backup phrase, create a strong password. I've already done that today, but just keep in mind, if you're on your ledger, you will have to install the Binance app. Just like when we're installing Ethereum to interact with an Ethereum decentralized exchange, Binance now has their own chain when we are interacting with that. So you will need to create a Binance wallet or have your Binance wallet on that app on your ledger device. So let's click on uh, start trading and unlock my wallet. So I've just set it up with that key store file as just a demo um, for the purpose of this video. So I've selected my key store file, uh, but as you see here, you get the ledger app, your backup phrase, or the private key itself, which is the most dangerous. So I'll just type in my password here. Unlock my wallet. Uh, one password always flashes up and tries to help me out to save my passwords. I won't worry about that. But here we are, we are logged into the exchange and this is where it gets really confusing if you're new to all this. So here we have the Binance pairs. So, you know, Cardano trading against Binance. So again, I'm gonna keep using this analogy comparing it to the Ethereum decentralized exchanges which more people are familiar with. So you need Ethereum in your wallet to trade all the other Ethereum tokens. Now, Binance has built their DEX on Binance chain and you need BNB, Binance coin, in a Binance wallet if you wanna trade it against other assets. And as you'll see here, they all say .b, so ADA.b. And what is happening on the back end here is they're creating synthetic or pegged tokens, I guess you can think of it as. So you can trade your Binance in and get those Codono tokens and they're kind of synthetic tokens for the time being. Now, when you go to withdraw those in the future, they trade in the synthetic tokens that they've got on their back end and you can actually get you know, your real Cardano tokens, your real Bitcoin, whatever you want. But at the moment, guys, that's why they're all saying .b, no matter what you choose on, no matter what you want to trade against, that's what can be a little bit confusing when you're getting started. So there we have the Bitcoin pairs. Again, at the moment, it's only against Binance, Ethereum, and Tether, all trading against Binance there. So here we see the trade history. Um, down the bottom, we have our current open orders and your order history, trade history, uh, and your balances. Down the bottom right-hand corner is where you're going to place your orders. So again, let's go, go go back to Cardano. If you want to buy uh, 100 Cardano tokens, it's going to tell you how much BNB uh, that is, or the other way around there as well. So at the moment, for 100 uh, BNB, we can get nearly 23,000 uh, Cardano. Same here, if we're selling, we can just place that order. We can choose if we want to sell 50%, 75%, all those options there. We can click on a price that we want to buy or sell at and that'll fill that out in the order box for you. And then we can you know, adjust that accordingly. Or if we're just looking to buy straight away, we can click on uh, best ask. If we're looking to sell straight away, we can click on best bid and that's gonna match those orders for you. Again, this is just a bit of a sneak peek, guys. I wanted to give you a preview. I want to explain how this is working on the back end because that dot B part and trading against Binance on the new Binance chain is very confusing for a lot of new people that are used to seeing their Binance coin as an ERC20 token or used to trading against Bitcoin and Ethereum pairs on maybe some of those DEXs. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction, guys. Leave any questions or comments in the links below and I will do another full tutorial once the main public testnet has rolled out for BNB. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.